what I would like each student to do is to first go to the web page titled Marvel of Markets and choose either the retail beef diagram or the restaurant tortilla diagram whichever one you want if you go to one diagram and it seems like people have already done a lot you want to switch and try another that'll be fine I'm gonna click on the retail beef diagram and it's gonna open something like this now this is what I've already made when you come to this point there may be a much bigger graph because a lot of students may have gotten there before you and added different things what I want you to do is add something to this so you go up here to edit you click edit you don't need to log in to everything you don't need to have an account to do this you just say okay you skip this and what I want you to do is notice that we've got the product of interest retail beef and grocery store and what we're trying to do is think of all the inputs that go into producing retail beef the inputs that go into producing that input and so on I want each student to add one input to the diagram and to identify yourself with that input by putting your last name in parentheses here the product was retail beef and it seems kind of obvious that one input to retail beef is wholesale beef beef that's cut and packaged and so the next input going into that might be live cattle when I say live cattle I mean cattle that is ready to be slaughtered to add that I want to add the word live cattle and so I go up here to a for text box I draw it down here I'm going to put live cattle and I'm going to put my name Norwood that's how when you put your last name that tells me that you came here and you did this and then I'm going to say that this live cattle is an input into wholesale beef by connecting that line right there and you know there are other inputs to go into retail beef to sell the retail beef you need refrigeration you need labor in the grocery stores to inputs into wholesale beef if it's going to be cut and packaged in addition to live cattle you need plastic for the wrapping cardboard for packaging you need fuel for transport trucks for transport so basically we have this product retail beef I don't want anything above this everything below this should be an input either an input into retail beef or an input into an input that goes to retail beef or an input into the input and so on I imagine that by the time we're done this will be a very big diagram with lots of stuff it may extend way out to the right may out way out to the left it may go down a lot that's what I want that's exactly what I want you to do so in summary come to the page look at the product that's already up there think of an input that goes into that product draw that input there put your name in parentheses so I know you did it and try to be and try to give this some thought don't just say labor into everything if you do labor think of what type of labor grocery store you know, might be unskilled labor if it's um, managerial level or the beef processing center you may think of very skilled labor When you are done with the diagram, be sure to go up to the right corner over here and click Save Diagram so that your work is saved. And when that's done, you can click the X to exit out of the diagram and then leave the whole page entirely.